This is number six on a series of videos. It's a long series. It's called the, um, it, there's several different names, but it's mostly, uh, you'll see terms like world-class patient prevention experience. Any of those five words, it's, uh, that's part of the series. And basically, here's the idea behind the series. We used to do uh, preventive services, and we still do some uh, concierge services. Uh, World-class prevention services. Patients paid routinely about $5,000 for them. Yes, there were better than ten dollars to $15,000 uh, versions of it uh, given by competitors because we focused on the science and how to actually do this. We also focused on what you can do to change your probability of heart attack, stroke, dementia, blindness, uh, kidney disease, you name it. Um, but again, what the goal is here is to say, look, a lot of people don't want to pay 5000 and a lot of people can't pay that kind of money. So again, we're making uh, the information available for free in 500 uh, free videos on YouTube. For those of you who want to <coughs> excuse me, get a little bit deeper, we're doing, uh, we're doing courses as well. Uh, the next section is going to cover uh, inflammation. And guess what? We've got a course on inflammation. It's not 15, not 10, not five, it's thousand dollars. It's $29. And we've had several hundred people take the course. Uh, that we've gotten great reviews on it. We're continuing to improve the course. Uh, Kim Hermosa, our, um, our social media manager, just developed the text to go with it. So if you get it over the next uh, month or so, you're, far more, you're uh, likely to get uh, a very, very um, deep dive into this area. If you've already purchased it, go ahead and use your, um, uh, your link to go back in and get the new information in it. But so, back to that, uh, inf that uh, inflammation component of the course. If you talk to Brad Bale and Amy Deneen, they said, you know what? Inflammation is what heated up that cat so the cat could jump out of the gutter and, if you'd, and, and grab the pigeon. So, if you don't know what that means, they're talking about the cat in the gutters like a, a hot plaque in your artery wall, and we're like the pigeon. But let's don't go too much deeper into that. It's... Uh, it's a uh, maybe you had to be there to understand it anyway uh as we mentioned 157 years ago 158 159 uh people started publishing theories that you know what maybe cardiovascular disease is really inflammation it's just been over the past 20 years that we've gotten back to that and said you know what maybe it's not ldl uh, that may be what you find in the artery wall but, and in plaque, but maybe it's inflammation. And yes, that is the case. And we've, this starts to get us back to today's topic on inflammation. Um, again, another thing from uh, Brad and Amy regarding uh, the proper role of a doc is not to look so much at statins and give you a medicine for a statin. I mean, uh, LDL and give you statins for that. It's to look at uh, inflammation in the arteries. Now, I've taught you how to do that. It's in the inflammation course. You can actually do it yourself. There's a series of uh, labs, uh, one urine test and uh, several blood tests. Uh, here are the tests, HSCRP, C-reactive protein, uh, microbiumin-creatinine ratio, uh, plaque 2 MPO, and F2 isoprostane. And there's the, um, the cut points for those. Uh, when you're looking at MACR, by the way, uh, don't get caught the way I did in the beginning in looking at the lab cut points. The lab will give you cut points of 30. Uh, we're talking about microscopic albumin creatinine ratio. Again, if you want to find that course, you go to our um, website, prevmedheartrisk.com, and then um, click on services and pricing, and you should be able to find the digital product. Now, back to the uh, deck, the uh, patient experience deck. So what you're wanting to do is put that fire out. Even if you have plaque, you're not at significant risk for heart attack and stroke unless you develop that fire again, that um, inflammation. Um, we covered it again in several different areas. Uh, and again, Brad and Amy's view is you want to calcify that plaque, put that cat to sleep so he's not ready to jump on the, on the pigeon. Now, again, and pardon me for references to uh, 
terms of art or uh, analogies where, again, you may need to be there. Brad and Amy also had this uh, commissioned by uh, some, I think somebody in their family was a cartoonist. It's a great analogy. However, it's got some problems. So let me give you what the analogy is. It's cardiovascular inflammation. And they're saying that's really the major focus, the major problem with atherosclerosis. And the fruit of that tree they're showing is, again, cross sections of arteries with uh, plaque in them. Then they go down and talk about the root causes of these things are low vitamin D, obstructive sleep apnea, dysfunctional HDL, psychosocial issues, hyperlipidemia, et cetera, genetics. So here's where some of the problem is. It's not very clear where the priorities are and how common these different drivers are. Let me uh, give you my experience as a long-term practitioner in prevention. For heart attack and stroke um, and dementia, these other things, it's age is the first driver. Look at it. We think of it as an old person's disease. Why? Because insulin resistance is happening as we get older. By the time we're in our 50s, 60s, over half of us have significant insulin resistance. And it's not, you don't have to have full-blown diabetes to have this problem, um, just insulin resistance. So again, that is one of the major focus points, age. Well, now what do we do next? What do we look at next? Next most common thing that I see is uh, poor lifestyle. Uh, having a BMI that's higher than 25, um, poor diet, poor exercise. Once people start uh, focusing on their diet, their exercise, uh, huge improvements in cardiovascular inflammation. Then we start getting into things that are still very common, um, but they've been harder to deal with. Harder to deal with than diet and exercise? Yes, they have been, believe it or not. Obstructive sleep apnea and some of these other things. So again, this uh, is a brief uh, video patient experience discussion on uh, cardiovascular inflammation itself. If you made it this far, thank you very much for your interest. Thanks. And if you hit that uh, subscribe or like button, it makes a big difference. Um, 
An even bigger difference happens when you share. You can share on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. When you do that, it makes a big difference in terms of the algorithm. It sends um, this to other people realizing that humans think this is interesting information and helpful. Um, thank you again.